On this week's episode of Built for Off-Road, we take the crew starting in the town of Lithgow and head deep into the bush, finding everything this region has to offer. Stay tuned, it is going to be a ripper. Barney, Lithgow, full drive mecca, amazing location, history. What mate, have we got here? Mate, this is the blast furnace. This is like 1886 was built, and I love this industry everywhere, cliff faces, the bush. What a town, I love this place. Beautiful location. I'm so glad we got to travel over the border. Come check this out Sorry. after the four-wheel drive show. Uh -huh. Tough tracks, fun tracks, awesome tracks. Insane convoy. So we bought all the boys, but we're gonna need all the help, because I hear this is some of the toughest wheeling New South Wales has got to offer. Well, let's go and find out. Short trip to get to the pipeline, straight out of Lithgow, mate. Yeah, not far into the first track and straight into it. Nice little drive down. How do you think you're going to go there, Hitch? Yeah, I think it's going to be good. This looks awesome so far. Yeah, the track's only going to get more and more enjoyable. I can't wait to see if that camping trailer gets through it. Mate, uh, Sambo, first little time we're going to flex that 105. You looking forward to it? Absolutely. Pipeline's a bucket list track for anyone. It's as good a place as any to test this thing. Oh, yeah. And little rig, mate, you're built for this. Well, I just, you know, it's exactly what we live for and um, to come down to the Blue Mountains is um, oh, just a dream come true, so very, very keen for this. Hey Nick, uh, you're a local guy here mate, so big shout out to you mate, I appreciate you bringing that solve off road with the portals, just uh, probably going to show me up aren't you buddy? Look, I'm hoping to, that's the plan. Well, I hope you don't mate, but already, uh, mate this track's pretty intimidating. Yeah, it is, it's not a bad one, but we haven't even hit the hard bit yet mate. Yeah, its reputation is uh, is one of fun, and we are going to roll it through an awesome convoy. Let's just get down to the base of this track. Never put your arm out the window, mate. I used to hate going down hills. This is fun. As we continue our journey through the bushland of Lithgow, we're heading towards the famous pipeline track, and we've already tested some of the slippery rocks and downhill terrain. I've never seen a camper take on tracks like this before. Hey, here comes Sam. Lucky there's a rear bar on that rig with the way he's been driving. Oh. Yeah, yeah, Sam's, um, I'm not sure if he slipped or what's happened. He was heading up the right side and then I think he lost traction and went to back up and now he's sort of got himself a bit crossed over on the track. So he's in a pretty, uh, pretty sketchy position on the slope right now. Just brake, just brake mid. Yes, that. Uh, I don't know, I just, uh, it was tipping towards the right. I think I'm okay, it just feels like a bit of a funny angle. But just need a, uh, just need a bit of guidance to make sure I don't go and do a Barney. If by doing a Barney, you mean driving straight up that hill and not get yourself in a jam, you got me there, Sam boy. How you learn the capability of a car pretty much straight away. He found every limit of it. <laughs> Might be regretting that new lift kit or the 150 litres of fuel on the roof. One of them. As Nick leads us up the range, you can't help but just have a look out and just notice how beautiful this part of New South Wales truly is. And after all the recent rain, the tracks are still holding onto a lot of that moisture, making the traction obviously the biggest concern leading up to the start of Pipeline. Wet rock, crumbly, sandy soil, this is not going to be an easy drive for sure. Really excited to see how this diversified range of vehicles handles this difficult terrain.
guarantee you, you can't get up this. I reckon if Barney gets to here and just drops the clutch and buries it, we can use it as a step to get up this section. That's my rock packing quota for the week, alright? This is a serious, serious track. I'm actually pretty confident that it's going to be a fun drive, but I know I'm not going to do it on my own steam. I think that Warren's going to be uh, getting a workout in that about five minutes. Uh, well, that's a jimny sized step. Uh, so that will be that will be interesting. Might uh, yeah, might have some fun on that one. Far out. I thought the rest of the track was epic, but um, it just gets better and better. Come on, Nick, you got this, mate. There is a huge rock step here. He's trying his best to get up, but we need to pack under his right rear tyre. He's just not getting enough traction there, and it's too high. Just bump up that step. Don't worry, I'll be here 20 minutes time for you, alright? Thanks, <laughs> mate. Yeah, we're close, mate. Just needs a little kicker down here and I might be lucky enough to grab it. <laughs> After a couple of cracks, I think it's time for a winch. And I don't think this is going to be the only one for the step up. All right, care package en route. How do you reckon the camper trail is going to go? I think it's going to love it. I think the camp would be okay. What I'm more worried about is as you pop up at the end, we hit the tree, and I think in a wagon like we've got, that's a rear quarter panel or something worse on the roof, which wagons don't like too much. Don't pick this line. It's a good one, but you might not get there. Alright, does everyone do that? Wow. I don't know how anyone's gonna drive this, but we're getting a bit of crack, eh? Are we? I mean, you're before me. I'm gonna camp. You tell me. Fear of guys. Pretty confident I'm gonna. <laughs> Scratch the back of the tub, dent the tub. Absolutely, best thing that can happen to you, now you can stub it. Stub it. No chance of getting up this. <laughs> Not alive. And unscratched. I'm feeling very confident in Chris to nudge the front up and then winch over. <laughs> I'm going to give it a, a go, one attempt. If it doesn't make it, I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to call. There's no point scratching this up. Yeah. And we're going to winch. I think I was going to have this many attempts, but I feel like I'm going to get it. So like all stupid decisions, one more go, one more go. That's weird. how much longer this track goes for, but at this rate, yeah, absolutely room for a long night. So it's gonna be good to see Barney hit this step. I just tried it in the uh, uh, 300 stretched uh, portal cruiser and uh, she didn't like it. So it'll be good to see how his bus handles it. So I might get lucky with a shorter wheelbase on the first bit. I just honestly think I'm winching this, so time to give it a crack at least. Let's go, Barney! Let's go!
Go again, or I'll just go from here. Shorter wheelbase, a little less care about the car. <laughs> a lot less care about the car. And it is done. We are up to the next harder challenge. Yes, wish. <laughs> Go past My voice already. We are truly not worthy. Well done, <laughs> well done mate. Well done. Oh, that was a good drive. Rightio, so when you watch two other guys go before you, let me tell you, it makes it a lot easier. A little bit of building, but different wheelbase. Those boys are long, and yeah, watching them do the lines made it a lot easier, but victory. Victory to cruisers, Jeep nil. <laughs> With no lockers? Against the 79 portal axles and lockers are back to 79 every day. But I'm going to give it a crack. Well, you, you never know. Let's go, Sam. Send it, boy. Come on. Jesus. Come back it up this far and have another stab because you're safe. Yeah, have another go. But you're completely unlocked. There's yeah. just no way. Long roll. Long roll. So, because this is a two-stage winching and with the weight in that car, so what I want to do is I want to just have both lines ready to go. So we'll go from one to the other anchor point after we winched him from here, straight up to the other anchor point so that we can have him attached and sort of use the winch to help him get around this corner with all that weight. I just think having that winch helping with the drive is going to be the safest, safest bet. Watching Sam, but I tell you what, he's got far more control, usually a lot looser. But unlocked, what a drive, seriously. But I think that was the scariest point then. How many wheels have I got on the ground? Five. I'm a, look, I'm a bad passenger, but I'm pretty comfortable, so he's doing well. Thanks, mate. With the boys from Hitch making the smart decision and taking the alternative route, it's Darren's turn to have a crack. <laughs> yes, you did. First time. We spent the last 40 minutes packing it. Yeah, oh, come on, it's a little car. <laughs> might have had to do with the 2.2 ton less than the rest of us. He might have had. I'm pretty stoked with that. I just wanted to nudge the front up and um, get a feel for it and make sure it wasn't hitting anything. And as it was going up, I thought, stuff it. You got one shot, just go for it and it, uh, bounce right up. So I'm stoked, very happy. up, hitch are going to go back the other way, which is a smart thing to do. We thought we were done. <laughs> Around the bend, and then you got this it's really sandy, it's obviously all sandstone, but all washed away, so it's gone to a super soft base. I reckon we send Nick, if he can't make it, we'll, yeah. make it. we'll go the easier line. But I think there's a there's, there's A, B and C line. I think the B is the go. The B is is, is A, and then a little split for B. Good luck, Nick. All right. Good luck. Good luck, Nick. <laughs> That 
last bit there, that scared the heck out of me. He just casual ass. I don't think I know a chicken track. Had enough of one day. You? Let's give one more track a go. <laughs> okay. Barney doesn't want to do this, but he won before. He got up when no one else except Little Rig could. And he wants to keep that advantage. He doesn't want to lose it now. That's how you do it, boys. Easy ass. Yeah, so you did well then, but um, geez, wheel was close to this edge. It's all crumbling away there. So I think as each car goes over, it's going to be a little bit less track. And who's last in convoy? Unbelievable. It's a stitcher. Well, the sandy soil is fully just eroding here. Lucky, the last in convoy is the smallest car. Well, oh, well, oh, well. What do you reckon, Chris? That was a pretty hectic track, mate. Epic view, epic track, epic rock steps. Nick, mate, you drove ridiculously good. Portal axle 79, wow. Yeah, mate, the portal axles do their job there, but that uh, track never fails to disappoint and made it a little bit difficult today. No, it was a solid drive. I was super impressed. And then you took the bonus line going out. That was very, very good. Well, Barney, you were outshone again by the little rig. I cannot believe <laughs> you drove that, Dazza. Wow. Uh, gee, thanks, Chris. Um, I, yeah, I'm definitely stoked to have driven that. I was motivated by every single car in the convoy ahead of me that uh, all drove fantastically. So. I guess that's the best thing about being last in convoy. You get to watch everybody else. You get uh, fired up and inspired by everybody else. And sometimes things go your way. Uh, let's get to camp, watch the sun go down and uh, set up our gear. Yeah, very keen to set up camp and try and get warm because there's an icy wind coming in at the moment. And uh, yeah, that's chilling me to the bones. So uh, yeah, let's get warm. All right, so we've had a great day on the tracks down here at Lithgow. Um, all the boys are pretty tired, so what we're going to do, we're going to cook them up a nice feed on the back of the, um, the canning kitchen. So we're going to do a nice chilli con carne for the boys, and then we've even got some special for dessert, but we won't show them that just yet. We'll keep them guessing. So what we're going to do, fire up the saucepan, and we're going to brown off the mince, and then add everything in, and let it simmer for sort of 25 to 30 minutes, and get those flavours nice, nice and through. And then we'll let the boys add in their own chilies later on to see how, how hot they like it. Come on boys, let's dig in and get some chilli. Look at that. I need a bigger plate. Mm. That's a really nice bite. Good luck. Mate, look, I know it looks flash, but I think you're doing a lot, eh? Dinner of champions. Mm. Good. These blokes never fail. No. Everything that comes out of this kitchen is gold. Mm. Epic campsite and <laughs> apple custard pie. Well, that's day one up in Lithgow. It's time for a decent fire to unwind and relax.